zombies or vampires? Well, yeah. that's there's no. Context. Yeah, I mean, I'll add contacts, but you can pick first. Zombies. Okay, so it not then the question moves to: Would you rather live in a world where there are zombies or vampires? Zombies for sure. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't even think I, that's a question. Yeah, I said I said I can't. I don't mess with vampires, especially no, the ones from like Van Helsing. Stuff. Oh yeah, that's, you ever see that? You ever watch yeah, Van Helsing? Like Those are vampires or some other breed of thing. It's not Dracula. It's something else. No, they're like <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, like super humans. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'd say like we, at least zombies stay on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I would say the the world is still sustainable with zombies i'm sure we could kill them off eventually yeah. as long as they're not like world war z zombies Hey, what is going on, you variety loving people? I hope you're ready to add some spice to your day. Welcome back to Secret Spice of Life. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jordan. And if you're new to the podcast, welcome. Um, well, I hope you brought... Dude, there's literally a spider like right there. No. Yeah, go look. Are you joking? No, not at all. And today we're talking about oh. fears, and apparently Jordan does a case of arachnophobia. <laughs> no, like, I just saw a spider, so I was like... <laughs> that's funny <Yeah>. that's funny <laughs> but uh yeah um <laughs> today we're talking about fears we're gonna try to stick with uh the theme of halloween for most of this month if we can besides like the interviews and stuff like that but um our promo has to do with some halloweeny stuff as well but i will get to that later in the podcast <laughs> but <laughs> can't, you can't play like that <laughs> i've been seeing too many spiders lately oh yeah no i've seen like freaking at least seven in the house and on our back door man i swear we have like four or five i think at there's least. one I saw a lot in the backyard when I was cutting grass the other day. Yeah. Like the little baby ones crawling on the wall and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's starting to get cold, so more of them are starting They're to come inside. They're coming in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was making uh, a run for it every time you open the yeah, door. <laughs> yeah. Screw that. But, um, yeah, uh, we we're just going to talk a little bit about fears today and uh, whether they're irrational or or rational, depending on your view, I guess. <laughs> 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 but, um, <clears throat> I mean... Uh, I don't know. What are, what are some of your fears, Jordan? Did we gonna start off that way? Oh my, I don't know. I mean, I don't really think of, I don't know, like think of fears too much. I mean, yeah, sure. But um, I mean, everybody has fears. I mean, but like when you run into it, yeah, you know, like yeah. that you have it. But like I don't know. I mean, heights is a. Co- let's start with a common fear. Heights is a common fear. <laughs> I mean, like I I don't really like. I'm not that afraid of heights unless I'm like jumping out of a plane or something, obviously. But like, yeah. I don't have a fear of like standing high on a high building and looking over the edge or whatever. Well, you or, don't? No. <laughs> it doesn't like scare Wait, What me did at you all. say you have a fear of then? No, like, I said heights is just a common fear for people. I said oh. that's a good place to start. Oh. I guess. But, um, uh, I saw, I was reading through like a bunch of different like phobias today, like yeah. different fears. And, uh, and, um, there was one, there's like the fear of heights, which I don't know like the proper name for it. Or, and there's like a fe- and then there's a fear of uh, being high in an open space, like, like on top of a building, like, I guess would be like an example of that. Well, like what's, what's the difference? So, um, well, heights can be anything. I guess it can be like in a plane or on a roller coaster. Or oh, see, okay. That's one. Yeah. I have, I'm, I'm like afraid of being, of like flying. Cause I've only done it like twice in my uh, whole life. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have a problem with flying. I, I'm like terrified of heights. But, but I, I mean, like the thing that makes me like gives me anxiety, like taking off. I I don't like taking off on a plane. Like mm-hmm. landing's fine. It doesn't really bother me too much. But yeah. taking off just like because it makes me dizzy too sometimes. Like yeah, when yeah. they turn the plane or whatever, and uh-huh. going up in the air, it makes yeah. me dizzy. And then turbulence scares the heck out of me too. <laughs> like when we went to Vegas, I had to. I just kept my headphones on the whole time. And like just played video games for like five, four hours straight or whatever how long the flight was. Yeah, I just like played video games the whole time and tried not to pay attention to anything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I have like a terrible fear of heights, but like I can't like oh, the way, like I I I, uh, I have like this dream sometimes like you know at the malls how they have like the glass like mm-hmm. railings like 
or whatever to keep me from falling over the edge. Yeah. I like this. I had this like reoccurring dream where there's like none of those in the mall. And like walking through the mall would be terrifying <laughs> for me if I had to do that. Like, why would it be terrifying? Because I can't, I can't be like if someone that, like as long as nobody runs into you, yeah. you're not gonna fall. It's over like I thing. get like lightheaded, like around like, like like open open heights like that, like where you can fall. Like, and it'd, be, no it'd definitely be weird not to have the supports there, but like uh-huh. I mean, because I like to like. I like run my hand along stuff when I walk yeah. down the side most of the time, but like I, I like it wouldn't scare me if they're not there. Yeah, unless somebody like hit me and tried to knock me over the edge. But. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I remember in um whenever we did our job shadows in like high school, or whatever, or like shadows for like a job or something like that. I don't remember what it was, but uh, I shadowed Gordon like Luke's dad, mm-hmm. and um, hey, we were working on a house. I don't remember where it was, but there was no railings on like the the stairs or like upstairs at all because they were like working on the floor still yeah. and stuff like that. And um, I remember like, I couldn't even get like near the edge. Like I had the, like, I was like cleaning the steps and stuff so they could put like the wood in. Yeah. And I was like, I got like so lightheaded. I thought I was gonna like pass out. <laughs> but um, yeah, heights are, heights are something that's like super up there for me for a fear. But um, I would definitely get skydiving and I love roller coasters and I want to go bungee jumping and all this different stuff. But, but, uh, um, Like if, like I've said before, like if I ever went skydiving, mm-hmm. that like I'd have to be the first one out of the plane. Like as soon as we <laughs> get up there, like you're grabbing me and you throw it, like jumping out, like right mm-hmm. then. Like I would not be able to sit there and wait for two or three other people to go because I'd get too anxious and then I'd be like, no, I'm not doing this. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> too much thinking. Yeah, I I think I would have to be one of the first ones out of the plane, maybe second, but like the latest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so um, the fear of heights is called acrophobia. Acrophobia. Yeah. Okay. But um, the um, as I was gonna say, oh uh, yeah um, since we're talking about skydiving, there is an open invite for anybody who wants to come skydiving oh, with Jesus. us whenever we get around to that. <laughs> we are trying to get like a pretty big group of people to go. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, and uh, I guess we can just jump into like arachnophobia since oh, yeah. we started off with that one like yeah. kind of indirectly. But um, uh, I'm fine with everything in the world. Every every animal, every insect, every bug. Your yeah, snakes, the snakes, snakes don't, don't really bother me. Yeah, yeah, snakes don't bother me. Um, mm-hmm. not not like there's nothing else in the world that really bothers me, like animal wise. Spiders are like just that. weird. Spiders are just like they definitely came from like a dimension of hell. Like it just <laughs> came into our world somehow. There's no reason they should have eight legs and eight no, eyes. Yeah, right can climb stuff and can make webs anywhere they want. Remember, um, what is it? Eight legged freaks. Uh, like I eight legged freaks. is a dumb movie. It was like a sci-fi movie. Yeah. It's a bad movie. I mean, it's a bad movie, but, like, bad movie, but, but like giant spiders attacking yeah, people and stuff. Yeah. And then what was the other one? Oh, it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, that's where the spiders are like all over that house uh-huh. and, and then they have uh camel spiders too is another movie right you ever oh watch yeah, that? that's another sci-fi yeah, like another original sci-fi. movie yeah. or whatever yeah that's kind of yeah. messed up <laughs> yeah but uh i do not i do not mess with spiders i don't care what size i can i can mess with like little little baby spiders like i'll like flick them away i try not to kill spiders too much as they eat the bugs in your house and stuff but they're especially if they're small but if they're like they like like the size of a quarter. I'm smashing it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except for Daddy Long Legs. Is yeah, Daddy crazy. Long Legs. Yeah, I don't mind Daddy Long Legs. Like until one day when they, they, Daddy Long Legs aren't considered an arachnid. Well, I mean, like until one day when they like uh, transform into something like that can breed, actually bite you, and then the world's gonna end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna be dead. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're considered an insect because they only have six legs. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that. If you ever no. look at it, they count their legs and they have six. <laughs> But um, yeah, that don't don't mess with spiders. Yeah, I would. And God I, knew I, what he was doing when uh, he didn't give them big enough fangs to bite somebody. Yeah, <laughs> I I remember I was telling you uh, Emily Lennon, like that we went to high school with. She yeah. uh, saw on her Instagram story she was playing with like a black widow on a stick. I was like, you, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> like, <laughs> you've never guard for your life if you're doing that. <laughs> Forget that. And um, so I mean, like. Uh, I mean, like, I wouldn't say that we have, like, an actual arachnophobia, though. Yeah, no, because, like, like, paranoid or yeah, anything like that. Yeah, like, no, that. because, like, arachnophobia, like, they consider people with arachnophobia, like, I was reading up on it here. Mm. Like, they consider that, that if, like, somebody saw a spider in their house, that they'd, like, leave the house or, like, whatever. They couldn't come back in the house if they didn't have someone yeah, to okay. assist them. We have, like, a, no- a normal Like, I can fear. kill spiders. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like, I just don't like <laughs> seeing them. Oh, yeah. But, anyway. um... 
No, but they said like if you don't have anyone to assist you, like that you would leave the house and like not come back oh, until okay. someone kills well, the spiders. Well, if the spider's big enough, I probably wouldn't come back in my house. True. <laughs> like, did you ever see that video? Oh, if I lived in like, oh yeah, that's why I won't the move Dominican really. Republic and stuff. They have this big ass tarantulas that crawl on their walls. People chop them with machetes. Oh yeah, and, yeah, they have the the bird eating spider tarantula. Ones I don't, yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. they are, but like people chop them with machetes. Yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> that's how they kill them you can't stop on them because they're too big yeah but um um <laughs> oh, man i can't i get, spiders are just something i don't mess with like that's why i can't like i want to move somewhere where it's warmer but i also can't take that their bugs and stuff get bigger when you go down for like like texas has tarantulas like mm-hmm. i'm not messing with the tarantula no, the, the funny the thing that i find funny the whole time we were in vegas even when we went out in the desert mm-hmm. we did not see one spider or one snake. oh yeah yeah, when we were climbing through, uh, was that Red Rock? We saw. Cannon? Wait, did we see yeah. horse? No, we didn't even see any wild horses. There were signs for the wild horses. Yeah. Remember, we didn't see any. Yeah, and we went to what Red Rock Canyon, right? Is that what it's called? Um, yeah, and oh, yeah. to um Hoover Dam too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd think you'd see something walking around there, like because around like wet areas and uh-huh. stuff, like yeah. you'd probably see more spiders. Yeah, I thought I would see like at least a scorpion or something yeah yeah like we it. didn't see a thing like yeah. we were picking up rocks and stuff uh-huh. too nothing yeah and we were climbing all through the yeah climbing through yeah. the mountains and yeah. stuff like yeah. i didn't see anything <laughs> i'd be i mean like i'm, I'm not saying i wanted it to was see hot something, though they probably they're probably in the shade honestly like hiding in their holes it was hot i'm not saying i wanted to see something oh yeah but, i mean it'd be it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, be cool. <laughs> it'd be cool i mean yeah. uh, I, i'd be fine with seeing a scorpion because at least oh, they're yeah. not gonna jump on you or something but. yeah if I, if I picked up a rock and a tarantula was underneath it, I probably would have shit myself. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. But, um, uh, do you ever see that video of, um, somebody had like a camel spider or something on their wall and they threw a basketball at it and it, and it like moved like before the basketball hit the yeah, wall? I don't if know it, if, that's if real you miss or not, it, though. yeah, I don't know if that's real, but if it moved and if, if I missed, I'm leaving my house. That thing's like pissed now. <laughs> that's, that's messed up. Not staying in there, but, um, Next thing I have on my list is snakes, which we talked about a little yeah. bit. I don't really have a problem with snakes. We had that little baby snake in the in the bathroom not too long ago. Oh, it was yeah, it was like a little baby. It probably just crawled in the back door or like snuck it in yeah. somehow. Yeah. It was tiny. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I would. I would. It, I mean, it would probably startle me if it like, went across my toe. If there's a big, if, if 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 there's like a big ass snake in my house, like uh, I'd be. I'd I mean, be like, I, yeah, I wouldn't be like deathly afraid, but like yeah. you could just you could just lock it in a room though, honestly. <laughs> as long as there's nothing for it to hide under, like if it's in the bathroom, it'd be fun. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, snakes aren't that bad. We we used the when we play. You mentioned this in one of our other podcasts too, I think. Um. We uh like over at the uh, behind the fence like when it used to not be as like falling down and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember we used to see snakes over there all the time, like little yeah, babies like, and stuff like that. Yeah, just little black black snakes. Yeah. They weren't like poisonous. Anything. Yeah, it was just regular snakes. Yeah, and in Pennsylvania, I think we do have like more pa- poisonous snakes in most places. In the mountains, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like, I think they have rattlesnakes in the mountains here. Um, I think so. I think they are in the mountains. I, w- I mean, I, I would assume. I would I assume say they are in the mountains. Like, yeah. I mean, that's where the most of the poisonous snakes are. You're not really gonna find a poisonous snake around here. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna f- you'll find like bigger snakes, but nothing that's mm-hmm. gonna kill you if it bites you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have too much on snakes. I mean, the only, the only reason I would maybe be afraid of a snake if I saw a rattlesnake and it was like aggressive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Because rattlesnakes can, cl- snakes can climb trees, dude. That's yeah. not okay. Oh, yeah, remember, <laughs> remember there was one hanging from a tree branch one yeah, time when yeah. we were outside. <laughs> yeah. Like we like tossed a stick up at it or something. And it fell down out of the tree. I was like, it was literally like hanging from the branch, like before we even threw anything yeah. at it. It was like hanging there with its head down, like off the branch. I was uh-huh. like, holy cow. Yeah. Like, if that fell on top, I mean, like if it, if a snake fell on top of me like that, me, yeah, I'd probably be scared. Yeah. But, like, and the other only other time I'd be afraid of um, a snake is like in Africa. I saw a video recent, like super recently on Twitter. I think I sent it to you actually in our when me and you sent stuff back and forth. Um, uh, they 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 found a person's whole body inside of a snake. Oh, they yeah, like, cut it open that. and the body was well, like the lady still was in dead. It. Yeah. yeah, she was dead, but yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> oh my god, like snakes like that size, that's well, a little scary. Freaking boas and stuff, they could eat you. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> that's that that's some other breed of. That's not snakes. That's just what. That's something else. <laughs> god. But um, 
Next thing I have is uh, the world ending, which made me think of this. People actually have like a terrible fear of the world ending because there's like shows like Doomsday Preppers and stuff like that. Obviously, these people have a pretty enriched idea that the world's going to end sometime in their oh, lifetime. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see where you're going. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know why people prepare for it, though. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. They, they waste so much time of their day like preparing for this stuff. I can see if you're older and you don't have anything better to do. Yeah. Yeah. But. I mean, I don't know. People like waste their whole life. They waste a lot of money on it too. Like, and you're not gonna stop it. Like, mm-hmm. if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna. Am stop I, it from happening. Even if it is ending, why would you want to be like the only person that survives? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because I feel like that that's gonna kill you slowly, anyways. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, uh, you just like yeah. can't have that fear. Yeah. And like, and the way today is like the world's gonna end every year now. Like, let's. Oh yeah, and like some some um. Nostradamus uh, guy or like type person comes yeah. up and says something about the world ending like every six months. So. Yeah, they, they've been saying that since 2000. Since 2012. Oh, since 2000. Well, yeah, 2000 uh, also. Yeah. yeah, but 2012 is when well the one they made the movie about. Mm-hmm. And then every like every like every year two or years, so yeah. Then, they, they say <laughs> they're like, oh, we were happen. wrong. It's 2014. I think now. the world was yeah. supposed to end recently, like within the last couple yeah. months. Because because the Mayan calendar was wrong. Then there was another calendar that said the world was gonna end, which was wrong. Then I think they found more recently found well, like people, another calendar. Like people that are like, like really into the into the Bible and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they find something in there that relates to something that's happening in the world. Yeah, and they're like, they're oh, like, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's a yeah. it's a uh, like it's telling the future. Or yeah. whatever. I mean, whatever. I don't know. I mean, like yeah. I, I don't I don't really I mean like I don't understand that one. But I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, I I I feel like. I don't have the time to ponder that the world's gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh man, we're gonna die in about twelve hundred years. <laughs> but um, yeah. But uh, the next one I have is like roller coasters, which also I guess we kind of talked about in heights. Like, um, yeah, you. I remember you didn't like roller coasters for a long time. No, that was, was that was just more of like a, a height anxiety thing. thing. Yeah. Anxiety thing though, like yeah. just being scared of not knowing what was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. But then once I started riding them, I don't like. It doesn't bother me anymore. Yeah, I had to go to the extreme of the extremes to to end it. Right. I remember when we went to Cedar Point. Oh uh, yeah, we were um, the um, the uh, what's it called Millennium drag- Force. Oh, that's the, the drag. I didn't ride. I, oh, still don't, I still won't ride that. Dragsters. I still sketchy. Won't ride that. Yeah, I think you go back stuck on backwards. Yeah. yeah, I, I rode it what, twice. I lo- I mean it's like okay, but I don't think it's worth the wait. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a two hour wait for like times. a twenty second ride. Yeah, you shoot straight up yeah. the hill, come straight back down. Yeah, that's, that's literally it. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, it probably is like ten seconds. Mm-hmm. But no, I mean like that thing. I've heard the uh, stories of that thing getting stuck, going up the hill and coming down backwards. I've seen it happen. Yeah. Like, oh, no way, man. Oh, man. I mean, like as long as the roller coaster does, it can't come down backwards. I'm fine riding it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, I know. I I've never really had a problem with roller coasters or anything like that. Like I said, I'm afraid of heights, but I've never really had a problem with it. See, well, like then how, wait, how is that? How does that work? Because <laughs> roller coasters go like some of them go over 300 feet in the air. And yeah, you're not I, mean, scared I of always, that. I've, I mean, I always get a. I, the, maybe, I mean, maybe like maybe the there's first literally time. nothing guarding you from from the ground hmm. i mean besides the track but i, mean, I don't know it doesn't really bother me i bet if you're standing on a building you would be scared if you're oh, standing on the top y- of a building looking over the edge i mean if there's like if there's something in front of me that i can put my hands on and like look over i'm fine but if there's like nothing and like it's just my feet like yeah. i can put my feet over the edge no <laughs> but uh yeah can't do that um next one i have is clowns which actually is pretty interesting because um I remember it was it last year or the year before we had like the clown epidemic. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was a couple of years ago. Now. Yeah, yeah. The but, uh, the killer clowns, the killer clowns running yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, I remember I saw videos on like social media and stuff of people getting chased by clowns and stuff like. I that. I don't know. Yeah, you never know if, if they're fake, fake or yeah. not. Though. Yeah, but okay. And all, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like that was something that was very over exaggerated. Oh yeah. Like of people making their own videos with their mm-hmm. friends and stuff mm-hmm. and doing that yeah. and making it seem like it was actually happening. Like yeah. I feel like it happened a few times, like yeah. an isolated incident. Yeah. And then people like made a big deal about it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I mean, I'm sure like people, especially like there's obviously a, cre- uh, oh, there's a crazy lot of crazy people, people in the world. Yeah, like that would take advantage of that and like actually kill people and stuff like mm. that. But um, I'm sure. 
man, if I, I remember I, people said that there was one in Ambridge where I was like living when I was yeah. in college. And I was like, if I see this thing when I come home at night, I'm going to crack. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, mess, I don't mess with clowns, but like, I remember <laughs> I used to have like a huge fear of clowns, but I don't like really anymore. Clowns are just like weird. I don't know. But like, and, um, what was it? Um, American Horror Story. Oh, they did uh, that season the clowns. about the clowns. Yeah. Well, I, was it the season? It was uh, the carnival one. one. was it? Was it the carnival yeah, one? Yeah, the carnival one where yeah. they had the clowns, yeah. But um, that didn't really bother me. And they have, oh, they have the, no, no, okay, they have the clowns in the carnival, but then they have the, like, serial killer clowns where it's, like, five people or six people. Oh, that was, yeah, that was in the, um, that was, like that was in the last one. season. Yeah, the last season, I yeah. I think so. Yeah, that was the, oh, I forget what it's called now. Well, yeah. But it was, yeah, the previous Calvin season. Calvin it? Or cult. Is it cult? Cult, yeah, yeah. it's called, I think, yeah. yeah. But um yeah, clowns. I don't know. The clown have, cult. I just I just think clowns are weird because they usually they're supposed to be like happy happy people or whatever they're supposed to be, but they're not. They're usually like emotionalist <laughs> beings. <laughs> uh, but you have to be uh, I don't know, I feel like you have to be a um different type of individual to be a clown. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean like I could see like a regular person I, yeah, one, I mean, but still. Um what what's his name? Um He's our, he's a, he didn't teach us in kindergarten, but he's a kindergarten teacher now. Um, Mr. Oh, I, I have no clue. I cannot remember his name. He has like the handprints on his truck from like Mr. His, Howard. Mr. Howard. Yeah. He, he, I remember he dressed up as a clown one time and came to school. <laughs> I, mean, I could see him being a clown. Oh, he's, yeah, well, he's, he's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, the next thing I have is, uh, well, it kind of ties in, I guess, with ending the world, but dying in general, people have like a fear of dying. I don't know. I don't I mean. I don't know. That doesn't. It's never really struck a nerve with like, me or like anything like, like that. Like I don't. I don't understand the ones that you can't really control. Yeah, that's something you can't control. Well, like, now at least it's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I don't know why you'd spend your life worrying about yeah. something that you can't control. Yeah, I don't know. That's just like. I, mean, I could see. I mean, I mean. With the animal ones and or like the snake ones and the spider ones and uh, stuff, it is something you can control because you yeah. can kill them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, I guess it's it's scary to think what would be like on the other side. It'd be like nobody really knows until like it happens. But yeah. besides that, I don't really see see the point of thinking about it too much. I got I I, I wish I had a fear of yawning. Um, that kind of leads us into our promo. Um, for the episode, uh, which is the Cabinet Podcast. Um, this is actually one of the first podcasts that followed us on Twitter, and uh, they're in one of our groups with other podcasters, and we talk we talk to them a good bit, and they're pretty interesting. And uh, their podcast is actually pretty dope too. Uh, their podcast is an experience about the creepy and creepy world experiences found in video games from the days of arcade to modern video game consoles. So uh, I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I remember. Um, there's just like creepy things left in video games that like developers don't take out. I can't think of like one off the top of my head, but there's there's like a bunch of them, and um, they basically go through the games and show like all these things. <laughs> I I haven't gotten around to listen to their, like their episodes yet, but that, they do have like a good bit of episodes, and I heard their content's pretty good, and they have a following the show for it for sure. <laughs> I'd um definitely go check them out. They're on iTunes, Libsyn, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and a bunch of other platforms, which I'll link in the description and uh, their socials. The only ones I could find were Twitter and Facebook. And I think they have a Patreon or a, there's like, what the hell did I say? Graytreon or something like that. I was telling you before that I said they're on like something. But oh, I don't know no. if that was just like the graph showing what they do on Patreon Maybe, or something yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, if I, whatever I find, I'll, I'll link below so you guys can go check them out on everything. But um. I have their Halloween promo for this, their first part of it. So uh, I'm going to play that now. Just in time for the Halloween season, the Cabinet Podcast presents Tales and Other Tricks and Treats linked to the greatest video game urban legend of all time. It's arcade anthology, Polybius Rises. A Halloween special featuring segments from Two Girls on a Bench, Conspired, Karaoke Big E, Totally Unreal Book Club, and of course, The Cabinet. Subscribe to The Cabinet Podcast to get Arcade Anthology, Polybius Rises, 
October 24th on your favorite podcatchers. When the screens go dark, Polybius rises. Trick or treat gamers. Okay, we're back. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, definitely go check out the Cabinet Podcast, um, especially since it's Halloween and their stuff has to do with horror and creepy stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> you have any f- leaving remarks, Jordan? No? Okay. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh. we. I was looking at our statistics mm, the other day on our podcast and if you're listening to the podcast if you download it i promise like at least if half of you that are watching or listening sorry download this i would have a stroke right now out of happiness <laughs> because there are like so many people that are what are listening to this that aren't downloading it but the people that are downloading it thanks and i mean the people that are even listening we appreciate you guys listening to us um yeah and feel free to share that as well um, with other people to spread some variety in their days. Um, you guys can like it and comment and share. You guys can talk about the question or any of your fears that you want to share with us, or if you want to laugh at us for any of our fears, that's fine too. But uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, make sure you check out our Patreon and join the tiers to enhance your viewing and listening experience. Uh, check out the blog and website. Um, is that the last part of the blog that came up? Um, Wednesday the we 10th. M- well, we might add more onto it. And I'm not sure yet. That was the last part that I had like pre-written. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there might be another part to that, but definitely go check out the blog. We're up to part eight of uh, Peace, Love, and a Positive Lifestyle. Um, And then, oh, and look forward to November. We're going to try to get the challenge calendar out for the month to challenge you to do something every day or every week or something like that. But um, definitely look forward to that. And uh, make sure you follow us on all of our social media. Keep up with us. Um, starting to gain a decent following on most of it. Um, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And as always, have a positive and productive day. Some shit that's considered legendary. I'm a-